How to create mirrored volumes in Windows Server 2008. The mirrored volumes or RAID 1 is used for data redundancy in servers. RAID is the short form of redundant array of independent disk which is used for data redundancy from lowest level on a desktop computer up to a data center level. The RAID 1 or mirroring uses two hard disks and as the name itself, one will be the mirror of the another one. Whatever changes we make in the data will be affected on the two hard disks simultaneously. Because of that, if we lose one of our hard disks, the data is still there and accessible by the users. In this picture, you will be able to understand how RAID volumes work. All the data in disk 1 and disk 2 are redundant and each volume on RAID 1 has a backup in the other hard disk. So if disk 1 goes down, you can still access data from disk 2 and if disk 2 goes down, you can still access data from disk 1. Now we will go on to a Windows Server 2008 machine and we will have a look at how to create a mirrored volume using two hard disks. By the way, we are creating software mirrors here and we have hardware RAID solutions also available which supports creating RAID volumes even before installing the operating system. So you have to keep that in mind. We are now logged on to a Windows Server 2008 machine where I have added additional two hard disks to do a mirroring. Now I need to initialize those disks from my server manager. So I can go and open up the server manager first. Go to the storage and disk management. And you can see the two hard disks that I have added uh, to this computer for doing the mirroring. Disk 1 and disk 2. And it is labeled as unknown disk. So I have to right click on this disk 1 and click on online to bring the disk online. I have to do this on both disk. And I will click on a refresh and now I need to initialize this it says that not initialize so I can right click on initialize disk select the two disk that I want to initialize and click on ok so I have the two basic disk that I need to create mirrored volumes to create a mirrored volume I can just right click on this unallocated space and click on mirrored volume and a wizard will pop up and I can click on next I can add the hard disk that I want to use for this mirrored volume only two is allowed for mirrored volumes because um, if even if we have three hard disk we will not be able to add more than two hard disk for creating mirrored volumes I can give a space of 10 GB So you can see that in both hard disk it takes 10 GB from each and the total volume si size is also 10 GB. This is because one hard disk is the mirror of the other one and you will not be able to use uh, the space of the second hard disk for your own purpose. And I can click on next now and assign a drive letter, click on next can perform a quick format and click on next and click on finish and it will say that the operation you selected will convert the selected basic disk to dynamic disk if you convert the disk to dynamic you will not be able to start installing operating system from any volume on the disk except the current boot volume so I can click on yes for that and it has converted to the dynamic disk this is now formatting and it will take a couple of minutes so I will just pause the video, video here and I will be right back after this completes. Uh, the formatting of the hard disk has completed and I am back to the disk management console. So here you can see that from this one and this two 10 GB of space has been taken and 
uh, it has been assigned the drive letter of E and if we open up the computer we can see we have only one partition with drive letter E even if 10 GB of space is taken from both this one and this two so if we add any kind of data to this E drive the data will be written simultaneously to both the hard disk and if one hard disk fails we can get the data from the other one so we will check that now we will just create some files and folders in our E drive which is a mirrored volume and then we will just remove this hard disk or take it offline and you can see that here we have an error message saying that it has failed redundancy that's right it has, it has failed redundancy we do not have redundancy now because uh, we only have this disk 2 running on our computer but even if the redundancy failed we will be able to access our data from the E drive without any problem so we do not have our disk 1 here we have only disk 2 up and running and we have all our data available here so this is the importance of mirrored volume in data redundancy and this is how is how it is done on windows server 2008 using software mirroring i hope this was informative for you and thank you for watching